Suela Braverman is fast becoming extremely robust as Home Secretary as she's come out to say that illegal migrants who break the law are at odds with British values. Oh, all day, it's been massive outrage in the mainstream media because of uh, Suella Braverman's latest comments and statements on illegal migration. So, words hurt. Words are mean, guys. We have to be careful. Be more responsible. Suella Braverman is the devil at this point. <laughs> it's embarrassing. All she's done is come out as Home Secretary, as an elected MP that we elected and pay her salary, to actually represent what the country wants. The country wants to protect the borders and sort out the mass migration as a crisis. And she's obviously trying to do some stuff in terms of policy decisions. But in regards to actual even rhetoric, she's the first Home Secretary who's actually come out to be more robust. Even more than Priti Patel, you know, talking a good game every now and then. So, Suella Brabman said that the behavior of people arriving in the UK on small boats is at odds with British values. Now, this is simple common sense. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this. Apparently, this is very politically incorrect. It is basically 1930s Germany language. But it's not, because it is true. It's just factually true. Now, the issue with this is that she continues uh, by saying that uh, illegal migrants are behaving unacceptably by breaking our rules and abusing the generosity of the British people. And I must say, by the way, I will correct one word in this sentence. I'll say it's the generosity of the British system. The British system has been too generous when it comes to uh, migrants over the last few decades. It's not necessarily just the people. The people have been great. They, yeah, we've been welcoming, we've been great, but it's we haven't really decided, we didn't decide to give free accommodation, the free Domino's pizzas and free mobile phones and everything else to migrants. It was the system that did it, the state. Mm. Now, she's absolutely right to say that we see that there are many people coming here illegally who are then getting involved in drugs and or, or get, getting involved in violent crime, who are getting involved in prostitution and everything else. All of that is at odds with British values. All of that is unacceptable behavior. Now, According to the media, this is outrageous, even though it's the truth. We've already seen the evidence, for example, of a huge chunk of the, the Albanian illegal migrants who came here on small boats and said, we are the victims of uh, modern slavery. Somehow, um, we, we paid thousands of pounds or euros or whatever to people smugglers, but we are the victims to come here. They didn't come here legally. They didn't have the paperwork. They pretended to be refugees from a NATO ally, Albania, but they come here and they sort out everything else when it comes to the drug networks and all the other criminal networks that we have under uh, these people. So that's what's actually happening. And even the media reported that. Even they had to admit a while ago that that's actually happening. But right now, you have Sky News saying, well, they pointed out what Suela said and saying, well, their home office was unable to point Sky News to crime statistics to back up these claims. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so Sky News are now trying to be forensic, saying, yeah, can you give us some evidence that uh, some illegal migrants are criminals? Firstly, all of them broke the law by <laughs> illegally entering the country. That's, that's one. But when it comes to actual crime, when it comes to drugs and everything else, you, you, you reported it a while ago. Sky News themselves did report it. Now they're trying to be morally superior, saying, well, Suella Bradman made these comments, and we tried to get in touch with their home office. They can't back up these claims. <laughs> this is just complete lie. You're ch ch trying to shift the narrative, and that's exactly what the mainstream media do. They try to be the superior ones. They try to be um, the forensic on behalf of the public. Well, that's why it's just the Ramonas and the liberal metropolitans who watch Sky News at this point. And, in, and now you have some veteran conservatives, so-called conservatives like Theresa May, who is basically now supporting the Labour Party on this issue. The same Theresa May, who was accused of being a tough dictatorial Home Secretary at the time, and the Labour Party accused her of creating the hostile environment, she is now against the illegal migration bill. <laughs> I mean, I'm not really surprised. She was always a a paternalistic Tory and a Ramona. So 
These people eventually show their true face. The same thing happened with William Hague. He became such a big globalist neoliberal that back in the day, William Hague was a conservative and everybody was like, oh, he's a Thatcherite. And now we've already exposed his true face these days, quite recently when he made a video and he was basically backing the woke side because they were always, it was always in them and it just came out eventually. Um, you would think that as people get older, they become more conservative. That's not always the case when you're inside the establishment and the Westminster bubble. Look at Jeremy Corbyn. Anyway, let me know what you think of this update. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.